Hello everyone, David here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Here we go by popular demand, another hip hop full length mixing course, start to finish. I hope you will enjoy and learn a lot from this one too. We're gonna see the processing for each individual tracks, drums, samples, 808, vocals, doubles, effects, both for plugins and all the analog gear, all the settings, but most important, the thought process as to why we do what we do. Part of this mixing course is gonna be available for everybody on YouTube, but if you wanna see the full course, you can either buy it directly at this email right here or click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access this and many other mixing and mastering courses. Let's get to it. We start with our kick, we only have one kick and this track was basically vocals and drums were supposed to be the most prominent and hard-hitting elements in the mix. So we need it right from the get-go, track number one, to make sure that this kick hit hard. And the source sounds were good to begin with, so that helped. But this is how it sounds with nothing on it, no processing, and I also took everything out uh, from the drum output where all the hardware is. Not all the hardware, because we have hardware here right away, but on the drum bus. Okay, it's a good sound. It is a little, uh, just a little too much energy on the really sub range. And it's not really too much energy, I like that. It's just, it lingers a little too long for a track like this that has to be really tight. But I didn't want to lose power. So let's start with console one, the first uh, processing that we have here. And I started already to try to reshape that low end cutting a 33 and then cutting with a shelf. This is SSL 4K EQ and channel here. A couple of dB at 30 in shelf and then giving a little bit more bite around 4K with the mid band. Our drive, SSL drive, volume compensated, no compression, no digital compression because I used right away my Fatso. Uh, this one on the kick, but let's listen to the EQ only. So this is our kick without. Okay, so immediately you hear the processing is even lower in level than the non-processing. So I stress this concept very, very often. When you do EQ or compression or saturation, don't fool yourself by making it louder. That's why it's so important doing gain staging at first and then keeping that gain staging the entire mix. So next, we already have a hardware here. And uh, in this case, like I said, is my Fatso. So let's take a look and a listen with and without. All right, we are in track mode, no warmth, no tranny, and they are linked. I have the remote controller for the threshold, which is at zero, so it would be like the Fatso comes out from the factory without any mod from the ELFTC. So let's bypass it and let's play our kick. So that's a big difference. And of course, the nominal level is lower than without the processing. We have an increase in perceived loudness, but not only that, even just compressing three, three dB and something with this, we have the fat, so saturation, which is so great on transit material, but uh, not only bass, for example, as well, and vocals, it's just really, really a great unit. So we have more punch, we have more click, and we kind of tighten that low end that was a little too extended in the sub range. Now, after this, we have our parallel kick. Now, the parallel kick, I used the British channel by Softube, which is a Neve channel, basically. I didn't use any compression, I didn't use any EQ, but I did use the drive. And I'm gonna play it for you just with the drive.
all right and then after that i have the dynamite because from this parallel kick i wanted more grit more aggression and more snap and the dynamite is the perfect plugin so this is how it sounds okay together with the original kick we sound like this A lot more bite a lot more snap okay especially on that first hit so you see again saturation and compression for parallel are very very common for me these two kicks goes to the kick out and here to again really fine-tune and that's when you need to have a monitoring system that allows you really to hear well in the low end to really shape that low end since that the kick drum is going to be our main bass element along with the 808 but the 808 was kind of easier here because it takes the really sub range and the kick in this song plays higher than the bass but still you want the kick to have as much as low end information and, and as extended as you can without stomping or fighting too much with the 808 yet still be tight and you can have down to 20 if you want tight so i use barco dog boss lab in combo mode if you're not familiar with this this is a resonance filter so it's a basically a high pass filter with a variable resonance the boost is how resonant is going to be the corner frequency where you cut and i cut a 78 you can see and i boosted quite a lot and you will hear the difference here so without okay so there is a big difference and it's funny because we are cutting low end we are using this is a is an hpf a 78 with 6.8 db of resonance at the corner frequency so it makes it sound like it's deeper than it is this is one of those psychoacoustic tricks that we have to use when we have many or even if there are not many in this case we have 808 and kick only we have such big elements that take a lot of real estate in the low end and they have to coexist. So we need to use tricks to make it sound like it's deeper than it is. After that, I use Casero Clip 3 to start shaving a little bit on nominal level. I'm not being shy with this because even though K-Clip is extremely transparent and I can get away clipping 3.2 dB in this case, this is not a round kick. So if I get a little bit of crunch, it actually helps uh, the aggression of the song. Now we have the snare. So we have two snares. If you're on YouTube and the video stops here, thank you for watching. If you want to see the full course and many other mix and mastering courses, click the join button down here, become a Mixfest TV member or write to this email and buy the courses individually based on what genre you're interested in. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up, man, take control. Heart is so.